dearest, most beloved, divine friends and family, brothers and sisters, uh, this is your friend and your brother, Haji, Dr. Ocean Khan, somewhere in the world, all alone, reflecting on the creations of the heavens and uh, the earth. Reflecting and thinking, and at the same time, giving praise and blessings to the Creator and Lord of the worlds, and thank you. Today is Yomanabi in the world, the day of the birth of, and the passing of our beloved and divine brothers and sisters, friends and families from around the world and around the world. A happy omen to be brothers and sisters. My article was published in the newspapers and was sent out on social media on behalf of the Guyana Islamic Forum the Electric Mosque's presentation of the teachings of Islam and at the same time the Universal Peace Federation Georgetown Guyana for this man of peace as the Quran describe Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah God Almighty be upon him came as a mercy to mankind friends and family I thought it wise to also remind you, ladies and gentlemen, to please wear your face mask. It is proven that the face mask and uh, sanitizers are the best form of vaccination. Sunshine, air, vitamin D, and working and sweating in the sun like doing some gardening or playing games. But exercising and playing games and gardening in the sun, to me, is not always the best of things. While it will be helpful, it's better to do something constructive with ourselves. For example, to do gardening, a little bit of farming, growing some chicken, being in the sun a little bit productively so that we may imbibe through our skin and bodies with the composition of our cholesterol in our body and the sunshine that we may develop strength and immunity with good food. Best foods are vegetarian vegetable foods. But you like, and people like meats, well, fine, but not too much, use the vegetables, the teas, the fever grass, the lemongrass, the citrus leaves, the citrus fruits, and so on with the cinnamon and make the teas that you need to fight and to overcome this COVID-19. Friends and families, that is truly a destructive thing in human civilization. So I ask us all to reflect together at times upon the creations of the heavens and the earth and just ponder the mind of the Creator when He created everything that was good for us, even the plants which we be thought of to be poisonous. Even they have medicines. There's nothing that God created that is waste. Now all the grasses, like paragrass and wild things that were growing that we thought that were bad for us or was just bush, the Quran tells us, and so would be all the scriptures in their own way that Quran says exactly, I Allah, I do not create in chest, nothing 
So the green leaves of anything would have some form of medication or produce oxygen that we may breathe. Friends and families, my topic today is one that was published in the newspapers a week or two ago, the danger, the humiliation to the animals, especially the cows and the camels and the sheep and the goats in artificial insemination, which creates depression, pain, destruction, and is tantamount to rape of the animal. And in depression, when they take away the babies of these animals, they produce the milk that we drink in depression. Might it not be a good idea for some of us to have one or two cows for our own use so that we may give ourselves and our family natural, good, wholesome milk that was reproduced through natural means and the animal has a chance to have its, oh, its a child or its calf with itself instead of being taken to the butchers to be slaughtered for veal, soft meat, to feed the tongue of those who love to eat the calves' meat, ladies and gentlemen. So listen carefully, please. So beloved divine friends and families, I now go to the topic at hand. The abominable artificial insemination of food animals. The fact that we human beings consume other beings for our food, the fact that we um, coexist with the same animals but then we eat them is one thing. But then the other thing, friends and families, is the fact and the reality Sorry about that, uh, divine brothers, friends, and families. Uh, but you know, this is in the raw, and I'm doing it all. I'm reading from one phone, and I am recording with the other here, and uh, my two hands and my head and my eyes, everything, are busy. And then the breeze, it's a bit windy, so you get disturbances, and I had a disturbance just now. Sorry about that, but like I said, this is in the raw RK's Guyana Free Media, and I'm your host, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan. And my point I was making is the fact that we, some religions, permit the eating of animals. So I don't want to um, in any way upset anyone, but to, to, to lay the fact that we are eating these animals, animals' meats, and we're drinking their milks, we're making cheese with the goat milk and so on around the world, and the camels, and the cows, and what happened, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact of this abominable artificial insemination. But the article will speak to it for itself, so let me go to it. The abominable artificial insemination of food animals was sent to me from Guyana, and I am alone somewhere in the world. Unfortunately, and this was published in the October 23rd edition of the Guyana Chronicle, unfortunately mankind seems to have lost its humanity and its empathy, particularly towards our fellow creatures, the animals. One of the most significant co-inhabitants of our beloved Earth, we as humans seem to think only of ourselves and not of our God's other creatures. We are so used to seeing ourselves as part of something greater than ourselves. 
that we forgot how valuable and precious all life really is. I penned this missive after noting a feature that was broadcasted on LRTVS Newswatch on Tuesday, 20th October 2020, titled GLDE, and I think that is Guyana Livestock Development. GLD ups artificial insemination capacity in which it was noted that they are now in a position to meet farmers' demands for artificial insemination. A1 services and cattle, swine, and small ruminants, goats, and so on. Artificial insemination as defined by Wikipedia is the deliberate injection of sperm in ways other than sexual intercourse into the female reproductive organ for the purpose of fertilization. It is a medical fertility treatment for humans and is a popular practice in animal breeding, particularly in dairy cattle and pigs. So friends and family, it's done in humans too, people who cannot, men who cannot produce children, um, and so on, that uh, are women who don't want to have relationship with men, and so they use artificial insemination. Um, and I'm coming down to the inhumanity of it on animals. W. W. Umbelet and J. Van Robes in an article, Artificial Insemination History, Hurdles and Milestones, clarified the chain of events leading to today's general use of artificial insemination in animals date back to studies a few centuries ago. So even then they used to do this thing. Imagine they don't want the animals to copulate, to romance, because why they're animals? But they have nerves. They have been given body parts with nerves for pleasure in their own form of reproduction. And this is biology, it's not vulgar about it. Sexual intercourse in humans and animals. These are, are realities, and it's serious reality in existence in life. And so the animals and humans need to copulate or to romance so to say but that will be coming later on I think in the article which I wrote it has been done years ago the idea was taken from a cattle study by farmers wishing to develop the dairy industry by using artificial insemination with the sperm of special bulls with carefully selected genetic traits so the aim is exactly that special bulls, they extract the sperm, they send it and send it all over the country or the world, and then they, they wanted a particular type, so they sometimes interfere with the ge genetic makeup of some of these bulls to produce high content meat and tender meat for human consumption. As I said, selected genetic traits. However, over the decades, because of its unethical, moral, and religious issues, to say the least, this method has been strongly criticized and restricted in some countries. Another key reason behind this criticism is that this practice does not provide any real benefits to the animals. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, only mankind is benefit. Money, money, money. This is the point of the essay, dear readers as I am of the view that artificial insemination is one of the most controversial methods of animal welfare. So this is essay that I wrote in the newspaper. We will see this article, but in reality it is my essay on the topic. And I move on, friends and families, ladies and gentlemen. The aim of artificial insemination is breeding 
And so farmers take advantage of the female reproductive organ to keep up a constant inflow of new victims whom they are able to turn into commodities for sale. It's all about sale, the sperm, sometimes eggs, and for the meat. And the painful thing, ladies and gentlemen, I did not cover it here, you know, the milk that is produced, because as soon as the baby is born, the mother becomes a milking machine linked permanently with hoses and tubes and the calf is taken away to create a veal for people to consume soft special meats so to say what they fail to recognize is that animals which like humans have emotions too. When a human is sexually assaulted forcefully, involuntarily, and involuntarily, we call it rape. It also applies to animals in these farms that are sexually exploited involuntarily and forcefully. Female cows are continuously raped. Their body parts are ambushed by artificial insemination. Farmers usually impregnate cows every year with the use of an uncomfortable instrument in order to compel them to supply as much milk as possible. Now here is my concern. Beloved divine friends and families, here is my concern. If the animal don't have its calf, they take it, even though they force raped it, don't think the animal can't think, you know. They, they weep, they think, they get sad. They get stressed. They suffer from depression. And not having the calf to care as a mother and to drink the milk that it produces, friends and families, divine brothers and friends of in the raw Archie's guy in the free media, they will obviously fall into depression. And so the milk that they produce will be kind of a poison for human consumption. And I am a lover of milk. So what I intend to do is to get a bull or at least two female arranged to have them mated, mated, not artificially inseminated, and produce my own milk, sorry, I said bull, I mean cows, two cows, and then I will have arranged for bulls to mate them, so that they can be properly romance happy, produce their calf, and the calf could grow and develop with the mother. As human beings, when they're taken away from their mother, they suffer the child, and so does the mother. Friends and family, we are human beings. I call upon the government of Guyana. I know it will be hard. Your people will fight you. But it is completely ludicrous that we as human beings, we have lost the human touch with our co existence partners on the earth bequeath to God to us and that we treat them thoroughly like animals as if we are the worst of animals and back to the articles farmers usually impregnate cows every year to supply as much milk as to impregnate these cows, someone jams his or her arm. Yeah, remember that, ladies and gentlemen. This entire arm into the reproductive organ of the cow. And if you look at a cow when they're going to mate, its reproductive organ is very small. It jams its arm a long way through the cow's rectum in an attempt to locate and align the uterus after which they drive this huge horrendous instrument the size of an arm into her vagina the cow is defenseless to avoid this assault female animals also undergo botched births after which their babies are taken away soon after birth every creature 
you see a chicken, how it will run after someone who messes. Even an eagle messes with its chick. The chicken, the fowl, will run after that eagle to save its chick. You see pups born and you go to touch the pup and the mother dog will go crazy and eat you if it can. Same thing with the cow because the cow is known to be a meek animal. We take such advantage of them. Same thing with the goat and the sheep and the camels, meek animals. And they take them away right after birth. And I continue, ladies and gentlemen, in the raw, in a moment as I stop this, to start again, to prevent it. If it goes too long, WhatsApp does not transfer it to my technician. Cows produce milk for the same reason as humans, human beings to feed their young. In an article from Peter, the writer correctly states we may also label cows that make milk mothers. And we know our Hindu brothers and sisters, and I hope it's only the ones who don't eat its flesh, that they refer to cows as mothers. If we are consuming animal milk, then the animal become mothers. But they do not really get to be moms because their babies are taken away from them right after birth. How insane, how cruel. Unfortunately, they are not regarded with the honor that mothers deserve. Once their calves have been taken away, mother cows are fitted up to a milking machine, artificial insemination, among other procedures, is used to pressure them to supply extra milk. Physically, morally, and mentally, this exercise has a negative impact on these cows. Precisely why I'm saying the milk that they produce, that we consume, technically are depressed milk. And the milk has proteins and living creatures within it that we use to enhance ourselves. And so the animal produce that milk as if it's a machine. We seem to think that the living creature made of blood, nerves, flesh, skin, feeling, emotions, and thinking capacity that they do not feel pain, emotion, nor physical. Beloved, divine friends and family. Calves that were taken away from their mothers shortly after birth cause extreme pain to, the, to both mother and child because they need that comfort, that warmth. You know, ladies and gentlemen, when a cow drops its young, as we see, it normally lickle the calf. It lickles the calf. Taking, off, taking out the afterbirth licks the calf. And in the way, at the same time, warms the calf because it was in a warm enclosure in the womb and being taken out from the womb it started to feel cold outside in the atmosphere so the licking of the animal the calf gives warmth and comfort and then they develop a bonding so yours truly will be fighting possibly a, a useless fight to educate against artificial insemination of animals. Physically, morally and mentally, this exercise has a negative impact on the cows. Calves Mother cows can be heard crying for their calves for days. Male calves are doomed to end up in crowded cages of desolate 
feedlots where they could be fattened for veal and beef and females are condemned to the same unhappy destiny as their mothers. And I continue. The unfortunate truth is that mankind appears to think that they have the right to interfere with nature. I think that artificial insemination is going too far. We see forced breeding or, or rape in which humans determine which bull to breed a cow rather than encouraging her to choose her mate. Animals, much like humans, have feelings too. Animals like humans do copulate. I've covered that, but I'll do it again here. It's in the writing. Do copulate and smell as part of their romance. However, all these farmers do is take a device and shove it into the reproductive part of the animals after putting in their hands all the way in to find the body part of the animal and press a sperm in a beastly manner into the vagina of the cow. This is no satisfaction at all for the animal, like a woman who has been raped forcefully, the animal looks forward to nothing. She may even dislike the baby after she gets pregnant and gives a birth. Because cows, like elephants, they all have a brain and a capacity to think according to their instinct. They might not have the brains to read and write, but they have the brains to feel, to love, and obviously to hate. Animals are known to be consumed by humans. Some religions have proven deeply that this is, this is all ap appropriate, although some prove otherwise. The fact remains, however, that we have shifted from what is considered to be the mind of the Creator, Lord God of the worlds, as it relates to natural reproduction, to creating food and to enriching farmers and nations through artificial insemination, or as I say, rape without any care or concern for the animals themselves. So some religions allow this, and even the Eastern ancient religion, before the coming of Buddha in India, they consumed meat also. And many people in India, not only Muslims and Christians, but many Muslims also in Guyana and around the world don't consume meat. And in India, many Muslims don't consume meat, but many Hindus consume meat. It is known. That is a fact of life. Um, and I, I studied that. I was there. I saw the butcher shop and I, sh I was shown where the slaughter taking place and how these are Hindus are coming to buy the meat. So it is not just a thing of religion, it sometimes is a thing of culture. It is also sometimes a thing of taste that they have developed. I'm not criticizing anybody, but I'm saying that I know the vegetarian foods encouraged by the laws of Sanatan Dharm and by good healthy eating, the vegetarian foods are better for human consumption. Back to the article. This begs one question as to whether our food commodities are the product of rape. Eating these animals and their meats can have a devastating domino effect. This may be one of the causes of the mental imbalances, illnesses and trauma that have become ep epidemic, epidemic in the world today. There is a growing dilemma in children and even adults' emotional and mental well-being. The consumption of such meat may be one of the factors contributing to this, and if I may say, the consumption of the milk. That we make powdered milk for baby, powdered milk for adults, and for various events and various things. 
because they were artificially inseminated not that if they are if they are you cup if they produce naturally that they, they should not be used but artificially inseminated milk to my opinion should not be used for human consumption And also, it's been found that many animals have been suffering from meningitis, especially the cows. The cows. Meningitis is a disease that comes from the brains, which could come from depression of the cows, and could be coming from artificial insemination, and people are warned not to eat these animals, in addition to the fact some of them might have cancers and other diseases. All in all, it is my desire that through their acts, people can make a difference in caring for our, our animals. I beseech us all to stop exploiting these animals just pro for profit making. As I said above, animals have feelings too. Sincerely, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan, beloved divine friends and families, in the raw, me saying to you, for us to think in small groups, to form cooperatives, have a few animals, produce our own milk, don't use artificial insemination, make an oath to that. And what is sad, and most of the big cow farmers in Guyana are Hindus. I am asking the Hindu leaders, to, uh, because the Islamic and Christian people are allowed to eat meat, to approach their farmers, that if they have to do this for a living, that they are to stop using the rape method of artificial insemination. Hindu institutional Sanatan Dharm leaders, your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Roshan Khan, saying thank you for tuning in with me somewhere in the world where I am, reflecting and thinking of creation, my God, humanity and love you all.